All right, you guys, we're back in the unit. Oh, last trip. I must say, on the way over, I was feeling a little sad. I was doing like a montage in my head about when I first saw the unit or when I first rolled it up. First couple times, really. Won't let that door and was just starting to poke around and already, boom, hitting stuff. Good stuff. The safe is first thing to come. Going through the drawers and the dresser. Jewelry, including this bracelet I'm keeping. Uh... This, and this thing just didn't stop hitting, did it? It was so many good things. But we're down to the end here, and I'm going to throw all this on my trailer and prepare for the flea market tomorrow, okay? Some of this is going in my unit, uh, my personal storage unit, to be put aside for a better flea market. But tomorrow we're going to go out to Concord and uh, get rid of some of, the, some of the more common stuff. So I'm going to get to it and try to bust this out quick because I want to go home and edit some more video for you guys. <laughs> Here's my big Jeff Probst moment. If you watch Survivor, he always walks in with the ballot box. Locker nuts comes in with safes. Live. Right. You ready? Well, I'm ready. I've been ready. What if this is a bust? It's gonna be really anticlimactic if there's like taxes in here or something. Well, not really, because you found so many great things. That's true. I mean, don't be disappointed. What have we found? Let's recap this for a second while we're a montage right here. waiting. Well, I mean, lots of money, lots cash, of cash, cash, coins, silver, sports, money gold, money. Star Wars, Star Wars. Yes, lots of sports I stuff, sold vintage tons jerseys. Of jewelry. Yeah, even the costume jewelry. I mean, we're just money's coming out of everywhere. It was very, very great. It was yeah. the best locker ever by far. So far. So far. Now we'll be going for another high score. Okay. All right, so this is not locked. So everyone's like, don't throw away the key. It might be for the safe. Well, we don't have to worry about that. He's but I like, I like busting them open anyways. So, are we ready? I don't know. This is like bittersweet. I don't want it to be over. Just do it. All right. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Oh. Oh, what is this? Nothing I want to open in my house. Yeah, it looks pretty dirty. What is this? Mm. Food, to no, toothpaste, a spoon, a razor. Are we, are we for real here? Oh, That's God. how we're gonna end this thing? Mm. This is dirty. Yeah, yeah, keep that in there. It's all moldy. Mm. Mm. Oh, code red. What? This is how we end this, huh? Hmm. Oh, it stinks too. Oh my. What is this? Coca Pelli. Casanova of the Cliff Dwellers. Oh, is he in there? Okay, time to run. Mold. Lovely. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. Well, that didn't go as I hoped. <laughs> Let me go get the bleach wipes out. Oh, gross. So, yeah, the other two saves. You know, I keep saying it, if you guys haven't seen it, if you're new to the channel. The other two safes we found in here, one was a little tiny lockbox, had 3600 in cash. The other was a big safe, bigger <clears> than this, that we had to bust open on a live, and there was just tons of coins. Hey, funny thing is we opened it right here. Yeah, we did. We opened it right there. During the and live. Went through it here, spread it out because it was raining that day. So fitting that we're back here. We bring it full circle, but unfortunately, uh, unless mold is going for, you know, $24 a gram, like gold right now, this is not worth nothing. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, that's how our story concludes. With the safe in the garbage can. Okay. Now what are we supposed to talk about, all right? I was planning on like counting the cash out and weighing the jewelry and having so much fun with this conclusion. Yeah, that plans out the window. So um, I know a lot of you have been asking for a summary. Yeah, I'm not going to do that here either. I'll tell you what, I've got so much stuff that I still haven't sold because I just don't have the time to list it on eBay. We've got most of the jewelry because a lot of that we found just recently. We haven't sold that yet. And um, I've got like the Star Wars figure sitting right here. <laughs> it's 
500 dollars sitting right there just right on my desk just waiting to be listed um i gotta have the time because i'm always editing these videos for you guys i hope you appreciate it um but i'm having fun you know this was a really fantastic locker i can't complain about how the safe turned out because well the other two safes turned out fantastic but really these two lockers turned out fantastic um I've been seeing a lot of comments about asking about more of the story here. And to tell you guys the truth, um, it was kind of interesting. I mean, when I first got into it, I didn't have very much information. And as you go, the story starts to, you know, all these little threads start sewing themselves together. And uh, you start to see the story come together. All I can say is these were um, uh, two brothers, twins. They were born around 1977, and which makes them about... Uh, seven years younger than me and not young men but they uh, seems like their parents took very well very good care of them gave them a good upbringing they had lots of toys they had lots of clothes um, they went on lots of vacations and uh, they seemed to be well loved by the parents and the parents passed I'm not sure exactly when the last parent passed but um, I know in the last few years the the their home was sold so I think what happened is the home, they couldn't keep the house and all the stuff went in storage and they've been paying on it ever since. They probably had a hard time letting go of stuff because it was like letting go of their parents. I haven't had to deal with that and I certainly don't look forward to it. So I, can, I do have a lot of empathy for them. Um, they lost a lot of good stuff here and uh, a lot of valuable stuff too. But I just want to remind everybody, it's just stuff, you know, really is valuable or invaluable it's just stuff I know that there are items that are sentimental to people I have items that are sentimental to me you know it's items from my grandparents from my parents from my kids these things tie me to memories and experiences and there's more than monetary value on them but a lot of the personal items like photographs in certain personal articles of the parents and the, the, the brothers I gave it back to the facility they haven't even come pick it up. They've never responded to the facility. They haven't called them back. They haven't come in to get the stuff. And that was just as of a couple days ago. Because um, I just went to sit, talk to the management and say, did they ever come? And they said, they've never come. They've never called us back. We don't know what happened to them. Um, so we can only guess. All right, that's part of the mystery that we will not solve um, because it just goes beyond the scope of what I do. All right, but what we did get to the bottom of is what's in those lockers because I really wanted to know what was in those things they looked horrendous from the outside and uh, some of the, to some extent they were I mean especially the first locker with all the rat infestation but the items that we pulled out the jewelry and the gold of course is fantastic but the vintage toys and the jerseys and stuff so awesome so awesome this is the kind of stuff that in, in the video games this is the kind of stuff that lights me up this is what I most desire to find in these lockers because it's fun for me so um and i hope you guys had fun too all right it was a tremendous amount of work we've had 25 episodes on this and if this is the first video that you have watched and you're sitting there going what is all this to do about these lockers go back and watch it i've got a playlist you can watch from the first episode almost every episode we have found amazing items really really amazing items but thank you everyone who has watched it i really appreciate it if you've given me a thumbs up and subscribed i really really appreciate that as well and the comments have been great to read well most of them have been really fantastic i love seeing that you guys get into this and uh, enjoy it you know because that's what i do i enjoy it and we are definitely into it all right well we've got a whole bunch more videos coming up because this three and a half month span since I first bought these lockers, I've been buying. I haven't been sitting around only going through these ones. In fact, that's why it's taken me so long to go through these. I've bought a ton of lockers in that time, and I've videoed almost every single one. So we've got lots of videos coming up, and uh, they'll start rolling out tomorrow. All right? Or I'll try to anyways. Good stories, good videos. You're going to want to see what's coming. So make sure you hit that notification button so you'll know when our next video comes out. All right? Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Until next time, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on... You say it this time. <laughs> Locking us. All right, you guys, one last story for this locker to tell. Those bags that were in the safe with the moldy contents, they're from the police department, both of those. I believe these bags are when you get arrested and put in jail. They put your personal items in those. So, yeah, someone got in some trouble and... 
And uh, that's that.